hello my lovelies right I'm going to apologize now because I thought well I'll just come on because I've made a big mess as you can see and I was creating a card and then I thought actually I'll just go live and I'll share it with you as I make it and then my daughter has found one of those horrible party blowers <laughs> so she is currently running around the house blowing that off yeah blowing her trumpety thing so I I I got these yesterday and what I what I do normally when I get a new stamp set is I have a play so I created um a one sheet wonder um hang on a second let me just bring you up on my laptop um yeah so I created a one sheet wonder with it earlier all in one color in gray um I think it was basic gray um a bit of stamping off hi Delinda um so yeah so I've created this I will do a video doing this or I might do it on my live on Saturday I'm not sure yet what I'll do but wow this is flowing flowers and ranunculus romance which I am in love with but I have done a bit of stamp surgery on my flowing flowers had to be done because if yeah it just had to be done <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say uh um on that matter thank you delinda right so what i did was um i stamped this with flowing flowers white ink on blackberry bliss i think or is that rich razzleberry that could be rich razzleberry actually no that's definitely blackberry bliss because that one's the rich razzleberry <laughs> so what i did then as well because um I wanted some different shapes and things so I used one of the stamps from Ranunculus to um, stamp on some paper and then I cut out um, the die the butterfly dies so that is the butterfly brilliance and then these pieces here so I've got a bit of and then there's a few bits I had already so I've got a piece of I apologize if you can hear that blowing in the background yeah, it's really cold here as well, Delinda. It's um this morning the car was frozen um to the point where we were struggling to open the doors. <laughs> um yeah, so I had a few pieces already and then I cut out all the pieces that I could with the dies as well. So that included I don't know where I've put them, but you know, that's oh there's the flower one. So you can cut the flower out um, just as a shape out of cardstock, which I th I'm looking forward to using and then putting a different colour behind it. And Or you can cut it out as a flower. So I cut out um, a rich razzleberry and a vellum one. And then I just cut out, I stamped a few bits and I've cut out and found some scrap paper and stamped on it and I just wanted to create a few different pieces and then what I'd like to do then is just sit here with a big mess because <laughs> I've made a big mess and have a bit of a play so I'm going to create a vintagey card as you can tell <laughs> um, with my favourite colours now I love purples especially like the the real deep pinky purples um like the rich razzleberry and the blackberry bliss so all i do is, as you can see my paper is still i haven't changed anything on my desk if i showed you around you'd be able to see all my mess <laughs> it is a big mess hi mum so um, what I did was I just got a piece of very vanilla and I stamped a couple of the strips that are in the, the ranunculus in here and the, the scripty writing from in there. I did that in basic grey and the rich razzleberry. No, I didn't. I went blackberry bliss and I did multiple things and then I've just blended around the edge to sort of um, age it up a little bit. 
So I have got some ribbon here as well ready just in case. And then I have these that I was playing with yesterday. I stamped white on rich raspberry. So we're going to try and assemble something. Okay, so I had a bit of an idea, hence why I've cut out certain things like the butterflies. So I do like sort of strips because I have strips. <laughs> I like to use them. So starting to just layer up a few little pieces. Um, I had to hand cut these, so I have... Oh, look, see, look, you can tell I've been working. <laughs> um, I have ha hand fussy cut these because there's no die for this shape, but there is for the little rectangular ones. Okay, so that will do there. Then I wonder what else... I wonder if that would and I'm not bothered if something gets hidden or whatever because you know it is what it is so I don't know if I want it that way or whether if I can line this back up again like that so it kind of makes it like a purpley vellum and then Maybe that one's too big. What about this one? I quite like that one. Hi, Louise! Sorry, Louise, I meant to put it on the WhatsApp as well, but... Um, basically, I needed to jump on while the kids were being quiet, and then Aaliyah's found a blower thing, a party blower, and is running around the house with it, so... I apologise if she suddenly starts blowing that again. So I'm going to do that, but then I need some sort of... <laughs> so I'm going to pop that in there. And then I like to have them opposite... I say corners because the circle doesn't have a corner, but you know what I mean. Sort of like that. Then do I want anything else? These are cute. Look at them. I mean, you could cut it off and make a row of flowers across a card or something, couldn't you? But I do like that little swirly bit. Where does that go there? I do have this one, but I think that might be a bit too big. Let's have a look. Oh, once it's all glued down, it'll be in the right where I want it. <laughs> Right, so let's move some of this out of the way. So then we've got these little tiny, like, little tag. And a little tiny... Just to give a bit more... You know, you know what I mean. Right, let me just... Um, Louise and Mum, I don't think you saw this. This is Flowing Flowers, Mum here mixed with the ranunculus romance and oh my goodness and i've done stamp surgery oh yes already and i only got the stamp yesterday <laughs> okay so i need a piece i'm just going to check what it looks like with some with a background of rich razzleberry oh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous i think what i might do is on these no i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave them the color they are that one is not a very good cutout piece do i have a better one probably because i cut out loads there we go that one's better there we go right so i'm going to slide them off to the side like like that and then i'm going to start sticking down so i'm going to take the three strips so I got myself a new refill for the stamp and seal because I don't know what I did, <laughs> but I just couldn't get the other one to work. And then it just, it just died, if I'm honest, you know, just died. So, and I've, I 
think I've got the hang of using it now. Ta-da! <laughs> so sad, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's just, it's just glue. Right, so that's going to go there like that. And it doesn't have to be, you know, glued all over to stick it down. So that's going to go there. And then this one is going to go, I think I might leave it like just sort of covering a part of that piece. Then we are going to put, I need to put them on to see roughly where they're going to be before I actually glue them down. So is that about right? Indeedy it is. So I'm going to leave them like that a second and then I'm going to grab my reverse tweezers and pick them up. Hi Diane! Hang on a minute. I don't know who you're saying hello to, Mum. I can't see a pat. Why are my comments not coming up? Well, that's a bit weird. Right. So then I'm going to pop these two down over here like so and I haven't glued the very tops so that they can sort of be manipulated a little bit to give it a bit of dimension and then I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to do the same again I'm just going to so I'm saying hello to people who Hi Laura, how are you lovely? I hope you're feeling much better. Right, there we go, we'll put that on there as well. Then we have our flower. Now I'm renowned for making a massive mess with um, glue on these, but it won't matter because there's going to be a butterfly on top. <laughs> so it'll be fine. It will be fine. So I'm just going to stick that there, like so. Oh, bless you, Laura. Well, praying you're much better soon. So is, is Nana here then? It's not some... I apologise to anybody who I'm not saying hello to because for some reason it's it's bringing up some people and not others which you know facebook likes to mess about so we're going to put the big butterfly there so i love i love making these now I've, this is it now we're going to have um <laughs> we're going to have butterflies with with uh, writing on and on the writing it basically says while i hold that there for a minute because it's, it's being glued onto vellum so it takes a bit longer Silver plate jewellery, August, I think, I think it says August 29, uh, don't know what else it says because it's, it says Charlotte, I'm sure that says Charlotte, anyway, it's, um, yeah, I always try to read them. Generally, a lot of the stamps and things that you buy, they're not actually... Um, um, they're not actually anything. It doesn't say anything. It's just squiggles, but it looks like writing. Whereas that really does look like writing, but my eyes aren't good enough to read it. <laughs> so we need a little bit of bling on here now. So let me just find my box of bling. And I have 
new bling which i'm going to use because it is super duper oh hang on actually no no i don't like the other ones not for this one anyway not for this card so i am going to grab my pick tool which i put away aren't you proud <laughs> okay so i am just going to dot a few of these around always an odd number don't forget odd numbers win one two three we go for three or five let's go five. Oh yes lavish card today put that in the middle actually there we go right now that's dry i can sort of manipulate me hi cindy so nana comment again so i can see if i can see it i don't understand why i can't see your comments bizarre okay so can you see all the little details and things on there so much fun and of course it wouldn't be complete without the wink of stella obviously but i'm just going to put it around the very edge of the butterfly like so oh maybe a little bit on the do you know what happens though you you start and then you just can't stop now it doesn't show up very well on camera if i'm honest but because I, I didn't get Wink of Stella straight away. I was like, oh, it's okay. It can wait. It can wait. And then all of a sudden I bought it and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Right. So let's put it onto a card base, which I apologize. I do not have a rich Razzleberry card base made. So we are just going to cut one of those. Right, ten and a half, and we're going to score, not cut, because that would be drastic and terrible. What is that? Something's caught the edge of my piece of cardstock. Hmm, okay. Well, we're going to be covering it anyway, so it's fine so i'm just going to put some glue see look out this is where this is what i do i played and i didn't like it so i just turned it over and started again as long as you don't use blending pens um yeah the uh, stamp and blends um because they they do go through the cardstock because of the alcohol and obviously because it's wet um yeah, so um, you can always turn it over. So even if, you know, if you decide you didn't like your one sheet wonder, turn it over. It doesn't, it doesn't soak through to the other side. So sometimes I'll make two one sheet wonders, especially when I'm practicing with a new stamp set. Um, and I'll turn it over and stamp it again. And sometimes I, I then end up with two good sides, but that's the only problem because then you don't know which side you're going to use so there we go i sort of half made well not half made it because what i like to do is when i get a new stamp set and dies stamp cut out loads of things and then you have all of these pieces now that you can you know make another card with so maybe what we should do then actually Oh, and I have a special. Do you want to see a sneak peek of a video that's coming? This is a new technique for me because I haven't done it before. But I'm assuming, I'm, you know, most, most of you might have done it. See, Mum, you say hello to people and then I'll say hello because the comments aren't coming up. Hi, Linda. <laughs> so this one I will be doing a video on. And oh, my goodness, I think I might be addicted to that one. Any dark cardstock is going to get uh, white inked and coloured. Well, not coloured, yeah. It's it's not, yeah. Whatever I'm trying to say is not working, is it? So, 
Now, the only thing is with this one is, is that I stamped this on white, basic white, and all this is very vanilla. Yeah, so that's not going to work anyway, is it? But maybe we could chop it up and make it into a nice little card. Hang on a second, let's have a look. Should we go for a black card base? Yes, I think we will. So let's chop it up. Because we always like. Oh, it says they're watching. Oh, I see. That's why. Unless they comment and say hello. Do say hello if you're here. So I'm just going to trim. I'm literally trimming them like I'm doing a full card. And then I will decide which edge I would like to cut off. So we'll keep hold of that one a second. And then I'm going to trim off the bottom. So I want it to be 10. And then I have a nice little strip for one of my scrappy cards, which I will need to be doing soon because I've got loads of scrap. <laughs> and then it's 10 by 14. I'll put that in my scrap bin. Oh, let's score our card base while we're here. This card does not feel right. I don't think it's the Stampin' Up black cardstock. But there we go. We'll, we'll go with it. Because it was in my box. So, what you... It has got a right way up because I do have writing on it. So I'm just making sure that I put it the right way round. So that's that. See, now these really it doesn't matter because they're coloured. Right, let's have a look what we have in the box. No. Uh, let's see what I've got. Maybe we could pair it up with a bit of... Or even a really big butterfly. No, I do like it. I do like it. So, oh, I thought I had some. I do have some. I just got to unknot it. And um, this is my, this is my own rub. This is a bit of ribbon I've got left from another. I've got masses of ribbon everywhere <laughs> so there we go i just thought i'd make a nice so that i'm not spoiling my um so i'm not spoiling my stamping i could just do that and then just put a sentiment on it so i'm gonna put some Right, we're... see, look, I'm getting all fuffled now because I didn't plan this card. <laughs> right, I'm going to find a good piece of this ribbon because obviously it's been folded, uh, been tied in a knot, so it's a bit creased. So I'm going to find a good bit there. And then I am going to decide where the ribbon is going to go so that you can see my little my Eiffel Tower and my little label there does that say Lille? isn't that that's a yeah that's a place to go isn't it Lille? no behave one day oh maybe this one oh, we'll have a little look in a minute <laughs> one thing at a time wendy actually i'm going to use tear and tape for this bit where are you here you are so we are going to decide where it's going here and here. And I've made a little notch on either side, roughly where it's going. Let's get these scissors. And I will have a snippety snip 
a little bit on either end because I don't know if I want to tuck anything behind my ribbon yet so I'm just going to do this so that it's what did I do with the pick tool see if I put it away I know where it is and then I don't put it away I don't know where it is oh I knew it was going to be a freezing day today because my heating was on most of the night which our heating is never on that much right so I'm just going to line this up with the line on my Grid paper, that's the word. Grid paper. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, so then I have that straight. Well, it should be straight. That is then going to go onto there. So we can stick that down with some liquid glue. Like so. Okay, right, so just to say that I have made an executive decision and on Saturdays I am going to change the time that I go live to an hour and a half earlier. Um, I started doing that time when I started doing lives at, at um, half past eight because I could get my youngest in bed and then go live, which lasted all of about, oh, I don't know, two weeks of doing it. So then she's now come to the point where she doesn't go to bed very early at all. So, yeah, so that's fun. I'm pretty sure that someone on the planet thinks it's fun to stay, you know, for a child to be awake till whatever hour she feels the need to go to bed. So I do have, oh. Apologies, my chest thing is not quite better so every now and then it just catches me off guard right so we're gonna find a nice sentimenti in because I have like I can actually I'll show you my little box I have that is full of sentiments. Oh, look, there's a stray butterfly trying to fly away. Oh, that might come in handy. And I do have some black and white. No, too much the same colour. Or a... Ooh. Which do you prefer, guys? Let's have a vote. Do you prefer the pink or the style of the blue one? I do have other colours like the blue one. Oh, I think I do. We say this, and then I haven't. <laughs> I've got some dragonflies, but they're retired. No, they're not. Dragonfly isn't retired, is it? I don't think so. Be brave. Be strong, be brave. You got this? No, don't like that. Wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful memories. It's a bit boring. Hang on, I have a plan. No. Okay, so in this stamp set, let's have a look. It says, just because, hello, just for you, thank you for sharing your heart. Well, I have the oval punch. So I think we could, let me find a piece of black scrap. Okay, scrap. Threw them all on the floor there. Right, let me just punch one of these. Oh, come out of there. Goodness me. Mum, you like the blue? Okay. Right, so that's going to go there. And then I need a piece of white scrap. Is this white? Is that white? Oh my goodness, I can't tell the difference between white. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, here we go. Piece of white. Oh look, I've punched. 
I've been here before. <laughs> okay, so then we can decide which sentiment will fit on our little... Let's have a look at this one. I think that's going to be a bit of a squeeze. Uh, what's that one? Just because. That's quite small, isn't it? I think that's going to be the best one though isn't it yeah we'll go with that one so i need to find a block big enough and i have made a very big mess on my desk but this is what i do this is me this is how i craft i just make a mess okay we're so in a minute i can show i'm just going to use this big one because I'm just going to have to because I can't find, you know, what I want. So I'm going to use the basic grey so that I can pull the colour from the one sheet wonder into it again. Just like that. And then I'm going to try and eyeball this into the middle because, you know... Oh, look at that. I'm getting better at that, <laughs> even if I do say so myself. Okay, so then we can stick that on there. So this could be a masculine card if I use the blue one, maybe. I quite like the idea of being able to see the flower. And then put the blue butterfly there, maybe. Or put the blue butterfly on the ribbon. Hmm. I will add some gems to make my butterfly fit in a bit more. Oh liquid glue because you get a bit of wiggle room oh goodness me oh. i don't want another bad night thank you very much chest there we go so then i'm going to put that on with dimensionals because then it'll pop up a little bit so hi shirley how are you so the other thing as well is that Everyone knows how much I love to make scenes with animals and things. Well, I've decided I'm going to do a class. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to arrange that for hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, all I can hear is Aaliyah in the background going, why? And Daddy going, Aaliyah, come here, because she was trying to come in the bedroom. <laughs> I know that if I go live in the day, I risk having my lovely, my little darling come in and say hello. So, there's that. Do I want that one there? Whoop! So this was cut out from the papers that we had, and I think this is basically my last butterfly from that. Or do we go... No, you can't see that. We're going to stick with the blue one. Um, and I'm going to put a dimensional on it. No, I'm going to use a sticky dot. A couple of sticky dots, maybe. I call them sticky dots. They're actually glue dots. I know. I know. <laughs> so I'm just going to put... Well, if, if it would stick to the... Oh, there we go. Didn't push hard enough. Push harder. Right, there we go. So a couple of glue dots and put my butterfly on and then have a look in my gems and I have these ones and they do have some blues yeah look those light blues look cool so then we're going to take this like this and we'll put one up there with a little tiny one and then I'm going to put this one on the back. 
with some darker blues. I think I may need to order some more of them. There we go. Well, two very different cards. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is have a pot. Oh, look at my lovely colouring. <laughs> so that'll be another video. I've got so many videos to make. I just need the time to do it. So I'm just going to... What I do is all the bits that I have here that are left, I will just put into a pot. And then I will make a pot for each. Um, I have like little plastic wallets that I will use to um, keep pieces I've cut out from each stamp set. So then when I get the stamp set out, I can just grab the ones I've the dies I've already cut just instead of cutting more and more and more because I found I was ending up with a lot of stuff left. So let's move that out of the way. I think maybe <laughs> we could have a new piece. <laughs> there we go. Card number one, card number two. Using flowing flowers and ranunculus romance. What do you think? Oh, honestly, this is my favourite already. Um, I will do a video on the One Sheet Wonder um, and yeah, um, I will have to, I'll do it in colour as well I think. I quite like it like that so maybe I'll do that and, and a coloured one maybe. Oh yes, I will we'll do that. Okay, so I may go live later in the week again, roughly probably, um, I'm thinking maybe... Because Aaliyah goes to school in the afternoon. So I've said now that my working time will be in the afternoon while she's at school. So if I'm going to be making cards, I may as well come live. So at about one maybe tomorrow. Um, but I'll, I'll let you know anyway. I'll put a notification up um, earlier than today. Because today was just, I'm on, let's make cards. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all soon, hopefully tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.